David. Troy Taylor, sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri, 6'4", 190 pounder. 25 seconds remain. Here's the second shot from our long range. Big Cameron miss. Hildred. Three oh, better set on block. it. Oh, down court Carmichael looking. Gets it to crime break, and it's going to be no good charging call. I'm afraid we'll be assessed against number four yeah, Carmichael. Just drive Coach Berry crazy. Three, this could have held the ball. Yeah. Held yeah. up and run off the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Too exciting. That's right. So a foul is assessed against Carmichael on that play. Hanson's got the ball underneath. The layup is in and good by number 50, Scott Corral. Cross guard pass Stay now. back there. It's taking time. Sure, no rush now. Is there? Crime break, and he's going to be fouled intentionally by number 50, Scott Horrell. We'll shoot it. We'll shoot it, they say. It's Dick Dodson says we've got to shoot it. It's an intentional foul. So Crime Brink can add two more points to his total. 61-58 is the score right now, but Randy could make it 63-58. Well, you called it a nail biter. That's exactly what it was. Up until the last few seconds, under a minute is when it really changed around. Here's the first one. Randy, it's good. We watched him in practice. The coach said uh, Monday night, uh, Maury, take 20 and you're done. He took 20 in a row. He said, can I leave? He said, no, you got to stay. <laughs> he don't miss good. too many. No, he doesn't. That's the guy, that's the guy you went on the free throw line. Oh. Well, a big win. The final score in tonight's contest, you and I, 63, Arkansas State, 58. We'll be back with the statistics in just a moment. Hot day, cold beer, and good times. That's what it's all about. The rules change in every bar when you're playing pool, but the taste of Pabst doesn't change no matter where you go. It's a good beer. It's just nice. To sit down and relax, go down to the beach and take a nice cold Pabst and watch the sunset with my dogs. When I come home and drink my Pabst, it's the best of times. It gives me immediate taste. Immediate, how do I describe it? A, a kind of a taste explosion. I take this beer home with me anytime. Back at the Uni Dome once again, final score, in case you missed it, the Panthers 63, Arkansas State 58. A close and willy affair as it came down the bottom wire. Statistically speaking, leading all scorers tonight, and our past Blue Ribbon player of the game, who you'll see in a few moments, Randy Kreinbrink, the freshman from Paulina. Randy had a grand total of 22 points, and it looks like uh, Randy hit a total of uh, eight shots from the floor in a grand total of 17 attempts. So that's a pretty good percentage right there, Maury, to say the Very least. good shooting. He's got a great touch for the basket. Second leading scorer for the Panthers tonight was Ray Stark with 10 points, or check that, Mike Pianowski with 11 points. Mike uh, did a yeoman's job in the second half. And uh, the third scorer in double figures for you and I with 10 points was Ray Stork, who put in most of his points when they were needed uh, in the first half of play. Rounding out the scoring eight points for Brent Carmichael, who probably put together his best game of the season. And uh, eight points by Jay Block, who saw lots of action tonight, especially after Howard Rose ran into foul problems, along with Herb King, the two starters, who ran into some problems there. Rob Williams, also reserve guard, who came in and gave uh, Brent Carmichael a, a rest or two, had a grand total of two points in the contest tonight. Panthers led at the half, as we said, 33 to 26. And let's take a look at the scoring now for the visitors from Arkansas State. Leading all scores, number 17, Jeff Bolding, who did a well uh, yeoman's job from a center position. He was sort of a pain in the uh, side of the Panthers 